So welcome back, doing another job on the um, 421 that's behind me. So should be a fairly straightforward job this. What I'm doing is um, a friend of mine tracked this down for me. It's a uh, just a mesh screen. It's meant to be off the side of a small trailer but was a surplus requirement. It's brand new but um, wasn't needed on the trailer. So what I thought I would do is um, make a headboard to go on the top of the body here but I want it to be on the top of the tipper body that is but I want it to be removable um, and the reason I, I want it there is that if I'm using uh, a chipper on the back of the Unimog throws all the chip in the back which is fantastic but uh, some of that chip um, goes down between the the cab and the tipper body um, and if I've got the window open some of it goes inside the cab so I'm forever clearing up so what I thought would be handy is to have some sort of um, header board here um, that I could reduce the amount of chip that's going in by rolling a piece of canvas down over this frame um, and the other thing it can double as is a ladder rack it's, you know, if I've got a long load that I want to put, if I go down to Builder's Merchant or something like that, um, I either have to have stuff sticking out the back of the body um, or it needs to be within the six foot of the body length. But if I've got a rack, you know, ladders or um, fence rails, something like that, I can put it on top of uh, the frame, it will prop it up. Um, so what I thought I'd do He's make some mounts, and uh, while I was thinking about this, I realised I already had some mounts. So I had a pair of these. They came out of the 411 snowblower. The rear body on that was covered. These were what were bolted into the rear body to hold up the frame that kept up the roof over the um, auxiliary engine, the donkey engine that was in the back of that. So my plan is to bolt these to the outside of uh, the body the front and then adapt this frame weld these tube this tube on um really cut these hinges and things off but what i also want to do is make some little uprights that go on the top here just so if i am carrying a ladder or some planks or something they can't slide off the end um and the nice thing with the mesh obviously i can still see through it with the rear screen and things so that's the plan. So I've already drilled and bolted on one of these uh, brackets uh, in the position that I want it. Um, and I need to do the same with the other one. Now you might look at these and think they look like they're nearly new. Uh, they were pretty scabby actually. Um, what I've done is uh, sandblasted them. I've got a sandblasting cabinet. So I cleaned them up and primed them. Um, so they look a, a lot better. Um, the rack itself is galvanised, which is great, but I do want to weld to it. Uh, so I'm going to have to take off some of that galvanisation, take off that layer of zinc, because I can't weld to that, um, which is a bit of a shame. But what I will do is then etch prime this and spray it to match the same colour as the Unimog. I think that'll look pretty neat uh, and tidy. So what I'll do is I'll side tip the body because it's a three-way tipper, I can tip it to the side. I've already marked, you can probably see a couple of yellow dots of where the holes need to be drilled for the bracket, but obviously I can't get the drill in there with this gap. But if I tip the body, it's a lot easier. So let's do that. <laughs> So you might be wondering why I don't just tip the body towards the rear when using the chipper until the front of the body is higher than the cab to try and capture it. Um, certainly you can do that. The problem with that is when I've got the chipper on the back on the three point linkage is that to empty the body, I want to tip it sideways, um, which is fine, but it would mean I'm ever having, forever having to move the pins. You can put the pins in whichever location you want 
to be able to tip in the direction you want. So I'll be out forever swapping them around. And um, I just think it'd be handy that I can leave the pins where I want them and just tip to the side uh, without having to have tipped the body upwards to stop the chip going in the cab or going between the body and the cab. That's my thinking anyway. So with these centre punched, that will stop the drill slipping. I'm just going to drill pilot hole first of all with a small drill bit, and then we'll go up to the size, which is a 12 millimeter hole that we actually want. Holes are drilled, we should be able to bolt this on. Uh, forgot to drill a bracket. I'll do that. So the bracket originally only had 10 mil holes. Um, I've gone to 12 mil. Uh, 10 mil would have been fine. Um, the reason I've gone to 12 mil is I had some bolts of the right length. Make use of. So that's the bracket on. We'll um, put the body back down and then start to think about where we need to weld on the bits of pipe. Uh, to hold this headboard. So I've just roughly propped this up at the moment to get an idea of how it's all going to work. I think what I might do, I don't particularly want to run a whole piece of tube all the way to the top there, so I might put a plate or something across this bottom corner, I'm not quite sure. Um, I don't want to take off this bracketry and things on here. Um, but that gives you some idea of how it'll work. So um, let's start cleaning it up, taking off the brackets we don't need and uh, tack welding on the bits of tube. So I made a couple of plates, they're fairly chunky, I don't know, two and a half mil plate steel, just out of some scrap I had, and I'm going to weld them on these corners here, and that will just give me something more to weld a bit of tube to, and um, means that rather than it just being a lever off this box section, this box section is quite thin walled, so with a plate there, weld along these edges, it should be a lot stronger, a lot more rigid, it will take some of that load up the side of, the, um, of this frame, that's the idea. 
That's the plate welded on. Um, because this is galvanised and the inside of this box section will be galvanised, you going to be a bit careful about the fumes, the zinc fumes, highly poisonous. Um, so um, make sure you're doing it in a well ventilated area. I ground off all the, um, the galvanisation um, for the area I was going to weld on because um, you, you can't weld onto, onto galvanisation, it needs to be removed first. Right, so I won't bother showing you in the other corner, I've got that one to weld on, but I'll do that next. is just tack weld it here in situ and then take it out and um, weld it up fully. Um, if you're going to weld on a vehicle though, um, remember to disconnect the battery. And I've got a battery isolator, so I'll turn that off. Um, and also it's good practice to disconnect the alternator. I should be able to do it. Pull them out, and that'll mean you won't get any um, voltage spikes going through the circuitry in the alternator because it can it can destroy them. Right, let's tack weld it up. Well, sorry about the noise, but the heavens have opened. It's peeing down with rain once again. Um, but having completed the welding, uh, I'm just doing another trial fit. Uh, I didn't video it, but uh, a couple of things I've done is I've welded on um, these bits of tube on the top here. Um, they're just as keepers. So if I'm carrying something like a ladder or pieces of timber, just to help prevent it sliding off the end, and similarly with these loops really, it's so I've got a strap down point um, for holding anything on that might be resting against there. Um, just been having a think about the mounting. I'm pretty happy with this, but um, I think as I look at this, if there's any real loading on this going that way, if something pushes into it, um, the back of this bracket, because I'm using an existing bracket that was intended for something else. It's unsupported. It's a bit hard to video, but there's a gap there. Um, so it's going to tend to twist it like that if there's any load on here. So I think what I want to do is make a bracket that goes back to this part of the body with another bolt through it, um, just to make sure it's really rigid. And I think the other thing I'm going to do, um, again, to keep it rigid, is put another, weld another nut onto here and put another bolt through so there's two clamping points for the tube. So that's what I'm going to do next. So this was just a piece of steel out of the scrap box, which uh, I cut to approximately the shape I'm going to need to make the additional bracket. Um, it's going to be welded on somewhere like that, but with a right angle fold in it. So uh, next thing I need to do is temporarily re refit this bracket so I can work out the dimensions of where that fold line needs to be.
So it looks like pretty well halfway along here uh, is where we need the fault to be. So I've just side tipped the body again so we can get some better access. So I think the brackets should work quite well, fit about there. So I'll just mark up where it needs to go and then I can grind off uh, the paint there so I can weld it on. Well, tack weld it on to begin with. So there we go, weld it up, and that should add quite a lot more rigidity. So just to give the new brackets a key and to take off uh, any of the deposits around the weld, I've put the items in the blasting cabinet and just sanding, sandblasting them for a minute before I prime them again. Next job is uh, some etch primer. Uh, it's got to be etch primer because it's over galvanization. Standard primer will just flake off. Um, so etch primer, then we'll let it dry and then it'll be top coat. So I'm ready for the top coat now. Um, so this is the same green as the uh, as the rest of the Unimog, it's just a 1K paint, um, busy, bit easier to work with and um, sort of in keeping for the period of the vehicle. And I'm just using this small gravity-fed spray gun. So this is a cheap and cheerful, um, high volume, low pressure, which is usually pretty perfect for this sort of job. So um, what I've also done is I've, in my little home uh, workshop office I've got here, <coughs> that's got a heater in it. So um, once I've sprayed it, I'll, I'll hang up the headboard in there um, just so it's in a warmer environment for drying. So uh, let's get on with the top coat, see how it looks. So there's the headboard all painted up ready to fit, see how it goes. So, job done. Useful ladder rack added to the Unimog, making the vehicle even more useful than it was already. <laughs>